Good morning from New York and welcome to the vlog. So today is just a yet another beautiful, incredibly cold but incredibly beautiful um, winter morning here in New York. And I'm just been out in Central Park right now. Here's that famous lake and there's that famous uh, romantic bar bridge behind us that you've seen in many Hollywood movies before and I didn't really come here for photos, just came here to soak up a little bit of daylight and enjoy the morning sun which is just hitting me so beautifully in the face right now. Check this out. It's just rose actually. Look at that. Full power. And today is going to be an amazing, beautiful day. I don't know yet what the plan is for the vlog, but I'm sure to be exploring the city lots and I can't wait to take you there with me. First we're going to have some breakfast, power up, and then can't wait to get this day on the way, right here with you guys. There will be photography involved, don't worry. Let's go. So right now I'm on that famous main alley that runs all the way straight down the center of Central Park and check this out. I've got the place almost completely to myself. So if you're gonna come here to get some amazing shots, maybe some portraits ideally, because look at this. These beautiful leading lines and not too extreme distractions of the background would just make for the amazing portrait location. Put your model in the middle of his path, make her walk up and down, strike some poses. You can walk away from amazing portrait shoots. So I'd recommend if you're ever gonna do that in New York and have that opportunity to work with some models, bring your camera along, come right in the morning, crack at dawn, Central Park, get that beautiful morning glow, the place all to yourself, what more could you ask for? So yeah, that's my recommendation from me to you. I don't know if that'll ever apply to you, if you'll ever find yourself in that situation. But if you do, you never know. This is what I would do. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Central Park, I've just been roaming the streets, exploring, seeing what else is on offer, and guess where I am right now? Grand Central Station, how awesome is this? And everywhere we've been stumbling on these random photo shoots, because it's actually New York Fashion Week, so check this out. On the stairs behind me, there's a fashion shoot going on. And earlier, we actually walked into a hotel, I think called Lottie Palace, or something like that. I stand to be corrected on the name. But we also stumbled across an African photo shoot, actually, and that looked pretty spectacular as well. We just wanted to see the lobby, because it's a beautiful hotel. We walked in there, and um, yeah, we encountered off a spontaneous fashion shoot of uh, African models. They just look really pretty, beautiful dresses. And yeah, still kept walking through Manhattan, and actually wanted to come into Grand Central Station, because it's one of the most iconic photos in New York. Of this, um, where is it? This hall back here anyway is very famous to photograph. That's what I came here for and then yeah, stumbled across another fashion shoot and how cool. Anyway, that's what big city is for you and that's what makes places like New York so extremely exciting but I should stop rambling. So since I did come here for one specific photo in mind, of course I had to take that as well. And the best place for, to take it, well in my opinion anyway, is if you head up to the stairs, you just get a little bit of elevation and you can also center your shot to get that perfect symmetry of this hole. And the best lens for this, again in my opinion, everybody has their own creative style, is the wide angle lens. Because you want to capture as much of these details in this hole as possible. And come here midday, because midday, the light outside is really ugly and harsh. But if you come in here, the hole is just a little bit lit up and it's got these beautiful um, wide windows which just flood the whole light of, uh, the whole hall of light. So that would be my recommendation time-wise get out your wide angle lens, center the shot up, and you can walk away with some amazing shots. So I think you'd even be able to use tripods here, but I got lucky because my camera on the ledge just sat perfectly level, and I didn't even need to take the tripod. You could, I guess you could call it laziness, but the shots uh, speak for themselves anyway. Here they are. now and I realize this vlog's been kind of random to be honest just me without a plan of direction just going for it talking some random shit exploring New York streets and just bringing you along for the ride so here's where I'd like your input and your opinion let me know if you like these kind of vlogs where I just uh, go off the cuff they're not very photography related just me uh, sharing my experiences and sharing my time here in New York City or other places all over the world I guess or do you want these to be very focused, sense of direction, very technical, focus on the photography, explain all the settings, be very technical? Let me know. Or maybe a bit of a combination of both on this channel. I'm just trying to 
exper experience and explore different directions that this could be going and just yeah make some videos and have some fun with it so if you had a good time do drop a thumbs up button below because it does help this channel grow and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this some very focused some a bit more random i'd also appreciate your support join the family hit that subscribe button below and i hope to see you in a future video that's it for me and yeah it's just been random but that's all thank you bye